darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Okay, I think we gotta stop before we get a copyright claim on this one. Democratic Virginia Governor Ralph Northam, blackface. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, a blackface. Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, blackface, brownface, I don't know. Justin Trudeau wore brownface at a 2001 Arabian Nights party while he taught at a private school, Canada's Liberal Party admits. Justin Trudeau, Canada's PM, wore brownface makeup to a party at the private school where he was teaching in the spring of 2001. Time has obtained a photograph of the incident. The photograph has not been previously reported. The picture was taken at an Arabian Nights-themed gala. It shows Trudeau, then 29-year-old son of late Prime Minister, wearing a turban and robes with his face, neck, and hands completely darkened. The, photo the photograph appears in the 2000-2001 yearbook of West Point Gray Academy, a private day school where Trudeau was a teacher. Earlier this month, Time obtained a copy of the yearbook, The View, with the photograph of Trudeau and brown-faced Vancouver businessman Michael Adamson, who was part of the West Point Academy community, whatever that means. Adamson was not at the party, which was, what, which was attended by school faculty, administrators, and parents of students. He said that he first saw the photograph in July and felt it should be made public. Oh, Justin. <laughs> that last quote again. He said that he first saw the photograph in July and felt it should be made public, which of course means he felt he should make some money off of it. What Canadian guy thinks, you know what? I really need to get this out there for the good of the people. Uh, I, I feel it should be made public. Who should I contact about this? Time Magazine? No one has ever thought or said that at all, okay? Now look at this other silly picture of him, okay? He looks like a communist scientist who doesn't know he's going to starve under the, this regime that he loves and is employed under. He looks like he drove to work with his head out of the window like Ace Ventura. He looks like he's getting a mugshot for smoking weed in Malaysia and doesn't realize he's getting the death penalty. And let me tell you something else. The guy next to him isn't looking too hot either. Let me remind you now that this is actually a 2001 year book and not 1985. Yet this guy looks like he just had to quit his hair metal band and get a real job for the first time. <laughs> now let me be very clear about something. I do not care. I'm not anti-costume. I'm not a guy who believes in cultural appropriation 99% of the time because maybe there's 1% that I'm not accounting for here. I'll let you know when that happens. And of course, I love Halloween. Now, let me throw to Bill Burr here for a second, if I may. <laughs> Do they go back and also try to look at good things that the person might have done, or are they just looking for the bad stuff? Is it you just scroll through, help cat out of a tree? That's not it. <laughs> help grandmother walk across the street? That's not it. You know, I said something like... on a podcast. There it is. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I mean, you <laughs> could do that. You could honestly do that to anybody. So I don't get it. And then I don't get if you say something like that, you can't work in a sketch show, but like it's okay from what? He can work in a lumber yard? Yeah. You know? He's certainly going to meet more Asians there, right? Uh. <laughs> then on SNL, it's a, it's a joke about how SNL's not hiring Asians. Jesus yeah, but, yeah, well, also, now I'm in trouble? Yeah. So my question is, when does this all end? Where does it end? Where does it stop? Clearly everyone has said or done something that somebody else somewhere in the world finds offensive or does not like. And the people who are digging these things up are people that just want attention or money or some sort of claim to fame that they can say they can do this to, to somebody that they don't like. And I get it. That's what the far left people do. They dig up something from the past, in this case 18 years old, and they say fire this person, deplatform them. They are not fit to be in office or to do the job they're currently doing. So why not do it back to them? Why not give them a taste of their own medicine? I'll tell you why. Because it's stupid. Let them do that, let them be the crazy people, and let other people do, play dress up, wear a costume, do something that's harmless and not actually hurting anyone. You know what will happen if you just say, I don't care, or let it blow by you, don't, let, don't say anything about it? Maybe even Justin Trudeau would be one of the people who would say, wait a minute, screw those other people who are calling me a monster, calling me a racist, I'm going to go over to the other side and maybe hang out with those cooler people who really didn't care because they realized I didn't mean anything by it. On top of the fact that it clearly didn't offend anybody that was there. Now if you go down this hole, 
You keep going down this cancel culture hole and fire this person, do this to that person. You know where it's going to end up. One day your son's going to be going for a job and they're going to have a picture of him dressing as a Power Ranger and they're going to be like, oh, 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 excuse me. Uh, Power Rangers are actually a ripoff from a Japanese show that they piece together. Blah, blah, blah. That's actually cultural appropriation. Uh, 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 like they did to the girl who wore the Japanese prom dress. Where does it end? So here's what you do. You suck it up. You go after the guy for his policies or his interfering with investigation. And you resist the urge to act like a lunatic, a lunatic and act like an adult because you don't actually care. I know you don't actually care. If these people didn't have Twitter to agree with them, this would just be a photo they saw and laughed about with their friends in five minutes and then forgot about. And that would be the end of it. Instead, we need Twitter to solidify our opinions and be, yes, we're offended. Yes, I'm not alone. I have other people to be outraged with. Isn't this so much fun, ruining people's lives for 20 likes on Twitter, maybe a few retweets? Think about it. <laughs>